heart was broken in the war. His heart? That's, that's, yeah, that's right. He's taking a break on Earth right now. I've never actually spoken with him, but he taught me all kinds of things. And we are back. It's been... So last week was uh, Summer Games Then Quick. So no streams then because I kind of wanted to let them take the limelight. And... Wrong button. Oh, no, 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 back. Here we go. All right. Been so long, I've gotten, I've almost forgotten that this is a Japanese game, so circle means select. Um, so, for those who did not watch the uh, Summer Games Done Quick stream, they raised two, over $2.1 million for Doctors Without Borders. I strongly recommend, and there are some amazing speedruns there. I recommend you check out the VODs on the Games Done Quick YouTube channel. There's some great stuff there. All right, so in the meantime, when we last left off, we decided to st go with Londo Bell. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I believe we unlocked, yes, we unlocked two new um, DLC missions. Okay. Let's start with acting the part. Oh. Not yet. Okay, so next mission we will. So, okay, that we didn't lock them. My bad. That's on me. So, we 23, 4, so. Let me unlock something. No, apparently not. Okay. So we decided with Londo, decided to link up with Londo Bell. And... Okay, so... Before we get too far into this, we have a few things we need to do. Alright, we need to... Boost, um... Kill count for full metal pan full metal panic team. So it's here. Mao and Kurtz we definitely need. Along with Sasuke. I can find him. There's something else. Twenty-nine. Yeah, he's still ways to go. So you, as you, keep, yeah. Okay, so he should be there. That's weird, because I'll just, I'll just keep sorting him then, so I can make sure it's a skill count. Um, maybe? They have people who are... Okay. 
All right, so we'll just have them at least sorty. Because they sorty, and uh, for XP. Some more of the lower level pilots. Give them an XP boost. Because that's enough points to get them all to level up. And then I guess. Yep. Trying to sorty um, Sasuke a little more often. Let's upgrade his robot more. Okay, so we got your power and mobility boosted. Got your weapons boosted a whole bunch. I don't know if Cash can upgrade your weapons any further. it's up your hit points a little more so you can take more so you can if you get hit you take more of a beat you can spend more of a beating all right next map all right hmm. you look displeased captain why exactly did we join forces with the aliens the military power is useful, and the technology is also very interesting. But above all, they have the major problem of being transported to another world. It was only natural to lend a helping hand. And luckily there were Earthlings there too, they acted as go-betweens, so the talks went very smoothly. The best part was that their commanders are quite lowbrow and thus easy to lead around. But surely we could have secured victory without having to rely on the likes of them. That's how we're squandering opportunities before. Including Haman Karn and the wars on Axis, too. Defeat isn't an option this time. I intend to give my all to end the war with Earth. And what do you think will become of the planet then? We joined forces with Gamalus partially in, in anticipation of that. What do you mean? If we can abandon this ugly planet and leap forth with the universe, at that point, they'll be a huge help to us. They may be for another world. Something a revelation when we were the ones who made first contact with the intelligent extraterrestrial life forms. Hmm, so that's the rationale. I'm being to you frankly because I feel bad about always having you work behind the scenes. What do you think? Pretty soon, not pretty soon, I'd like to put you in charge of the ship, or even, if possible, or if possible, even a fleet. I don't know how to pronounce the name of this ship. The Garan Sierras really suits me, though. No interest in attacking the Federation directly? It may be I've spent too much time squirming around in the mud already. As a result, I guess it seems like a big hassle to pull myself out of it. I have no intention to force you into this. Let's meet and discuss this face to face. Will you be coming here yourself? I have discouraged the Princess from being so selfish. And if Amaro Ray has returned, I have to greet him personally. It's... The Shar clone, full frontal. Commander Amaro, to, to be able to talk to a legendary Gundam pilot like you is a dream come true. It might have been better for my legend if I had stayed missing in action. Still, among the soldiers, you, there, there were more than a few people who believed you had survived. What's more, on the Neo Zeon side, the Red Comet has come back onto the scene. What are your feelings about that, Commander? 
The truth of Neo Geon, Neo Geon has announced that Shara is alive and is parading around in the public, but it's conceivable that they're using a body double. Still, judging by his appearance in the images, it seems like he is the real Shara's novel. There it is, Commander Emro's seal of approval. You can bet that he's the genuine article. Yet I still I get this vaguely uncomfortable feeling. What could it be? Still, Ensign Riddy really had his hands full, being assigned to the Nahil Argama in our place. You're not kidding. The captain, the guys, and I really got knocked around during the fighting on Industrial 7. Yeah, sorry about that. What do you concern yourselves about, Spelt? Zeon is to blame for all of this. Plus, I came into Londo Bell voluntarily, and I have no regrets about it. You know, my dad won't say that Londo Bell is a nuisance to the military monkey mucks, muckety mucks, but there's always a number of volunteers for it. I really wanted to go after Zeon with my own hands, those other volunteers feel the same way. We can't just stand by and let them run wild. If we do this, we should do it right. I see. It's really surprising, though, that this nuisance Londo Bell is getting a new Gundam. The higher-ups may whine and complain, but we, they know how powerful we are. Well, Londo Bell's neat leader is bright, after all. It's only natural that he would attract, that it would attract Gundams. I... I I'm just imagining Beecher just falling around the captain and just going, So, when do I get my, when do I get my, get to be captain again, huh? Huh? This, this used to be my ship, you know? Huh? 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 My dad would probably frown on that kind of talk. I don't think he's annoyed like, being, at being treated like an old fogey by the Gundam pilots. It certainly is a natural situation. It's a little troubling that East, ECOAS was dispatched under the pretext of, a, of protecting Alberto. That Gundam they call the Unicorn. It seems like a bit of caution is in order here. So, Amro's gotten a lot more savvy over the years. I basically understand the conflict between Neo Zeon and the Federation. But look at the ensign named Riddy. I'm like, neither side is all that great. No doubt about it. It's not an ideological or territorial dispute. It seems like it's all based on a clash of emotions. And as long as this mutual loathing continues, the conflict's not going to end. About the idealistic talk already. They're going to be killing each other, and that's it. Even so, it's still... Let me acting and see the world how it is. After all, we are now part of this world where it's kill or be killed. Which was also the exact same world you were in last time, so it's really not much of a change for you. Still, we forget our ideals. This world is never going to change. Jin. Check out the moron and refuses to get real. True, in this world, fighting just can't be avoided. In my opinion, it's wrong to lose sight of the basics, like ideals and principles. Thank you, Shin. Hilda as well. Huh? You said what you said out of concern for me, right? Wow, Hilda, you're such a nice person. D don't be ridiculous. Kira. Good follow-up, Shin. You really helped Kira out. I was just blurting out my personal views, that's all. Oh, Shin. This one was your fault, Atherin. You know, you really ought to be a little more tactful when you talk. I hear the same thing from Kira, too. Better get in gear, big guy. If only so you don't end up crushing Rosalie and Chris's dreams. Hmm. I haven't seen you smile like that for quite a while. Watching a little back and forths, I can help thinking about the good old days. Because coming to a new world took my mind off reality for a bit. You don't want to go home? There's no place for me in that world anymore. Akito. An enemy attack? In terms of resources, Neo Zeon has an overwhelming advantage over us. A successive wave attack would be a piece of cake for them. Adjustment of the Unicorn is finished. We can send it out at any time. You're pretty gung-ho, Banneker. Hmm? What? I'm, I'm not piloting the Unicorn, understand? No matter what Audrey says, you're the only one who can do it. I know that. Calm down, Banneker. It's dangerous to get overexcited on the battlefield. I... I've got something I want to protect with the Unicorn. That's why I'm going to fight. I'm telling you that it's dangerous to get so worked up that you can't see what's what's around you. Just leave me be. Banneker. Hmm. You seem worried about Banneker and the others. Commander Amaro. They're supposed to work against each other innately, but it doesn't quite work out that way in reality. They're growing and developing too, just like you. Hmm? I understand. I heard about the innovators from Tyria. As I understand it, they're similar to the new types in this world. The world may change, but people are people. It's not surprising that a similar power would arrive. Right. I don't even know how to use my powers. I don't even know what, I, what I'm actually capable 
Well, then figure it out. Well then, figure it out. Like they do. I heard that as a new type, you're a pioneer. Why not be a guide to the others? I'm not qualified to do that. I'm basically just an old type with the powers of a new type. That's why I want you all to progress unwaveringly, unwaveringly so you don't end up like Char and me. Hmm. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.